Alright guys, so we're back for the next video on this land nav series. Uh, what we're going to talk about next, measuring distance on the map, straight and curved line distance. Straight is going to deal with, you know, when you plot your grids and you're going from one spot to another, just measuring out that distance where you can use your pace count in order to get there and, and what have you. Curved line distance, that's more going to deal with uh, roads and stuff like that. I'm going to show you a little trick of the trade on, on how to measure that out. What I got drawn up here is just what a military uh, protractor, the scales, look like. They're drawn in triangles. The smallest one is one in a hundred thousand and then they get bigger as you go up one in fifty thousand and one in twenty five thousand. Down the bottom here is a bar scale which you're going to find usually on the bottom of your map. Um, I drew this one in reference to the map that we've been talking about throughout the whole series of Mount Greylock and it's only one full kilometer so it's actually kind of small. Usually they're a lot bigger on the map uh, that way it makes it easier to measure long distances but Again, none of this stuff is rocket science. This stuff is, is very, very easy and uh, pretty self-explanatory. But um, sometimes, too, like right here, it goes from zero to one, representing one kilometer again. And then often you'll find that on the left-hand side of the zero, they'll break it down even further just in case you don't end up with, with an even number as you're uh, measuring it out. So, uh, Give me a second here, I'm going to zoom in on this and we'll talk about these a little bit more. Alright, so the first one we're going to talk about is the one over 100,000. It's the smallest of the triangles. Um, you can see going from the bottom right hand corner, which is that right angle. On the military protractors, they measure from the right to left. And we're going to get into that more once we talk about plotting grid coordinates and stuff. But the way you, you plot grid coordinates is right and up always. And this is just set up so it makes it easier to do that. But if you can see, like I said, from the bottom right hand corner, you got the first little tick mark. Your next one is two. So on and so forth. All the way to the bottom left hand corner, you can see I wrote in a thousand down there. So that little scale right there is if your map is one and a hundred thousand. Each of those tick marks represents 100 meters. And again, going back to your pace count and pace speeds, if you set them up in meters, the rest of land nav is going to be a lot easier for you as far as math goes because it's all based on the met metric system. So again, from right to left on the bottom, starts out with 100 meters, then 200 meters, so on and so forth, all the way up to 1,000. I'm going to shift over now to the one over 50,000. Same type of tick marks. You can see they're a little more spread out. Obviously, it's a bigger triangle. And it's just, <coughs> um, it, it's actually a little different. It, again, it's broken down into meters, you know, from right to left, from 100 to 1,000 meters. This time, the little tick marks in between is representing another 50 meters so it starts out at 50 meters then 100 so on and so forth and 50 meter increments all the way up to a thousand now on every one of these triangles as well you got that right hand side where the tick marks are going up it's exactly the same thing and like I said when you get in the plot and grid coordinates in one of our future videos here you always plot your grids and read on the map from the right and then up. So now we'll move over to the next one which is 1 in 25,000. I'm going to have to zoom this out a little bit for you guys. All the way. Alright. This one is actually the one used on the map that we've been talking about. And you can see there's a lot more tick marks. These ones are broken down into 20 meter increments, again from right to left, 
So the first one obviously 20, 40, 60, 80, first one being 100 meters, so on and so forth, all the way up to 1000. This will get you a lot more accurate when you get into plotting your grid coordinates. So I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. I'm going to shift down to the bottom now. We'll just talk about this bar scale real quick. Alright. From left to right. Again, you're going to find this usually on the bottom of your map. It's definitely going to be there on any military style map. And pretty self-explanatory. Again, not rocket science. From zero to one. The one being one kilometer. And that this one's broken down into 200 meter increments. And I think that's all that needs to be said on that. So we're going to shift now. I'm going to shift the camera over to the map. And we're going to look at this a little bit better. And talk about how we can measure this distance on the map. So stay with me. Alright guys, so here we are. Back at the top of Mount Greylock pretty much been our reference point through this whole series of videos here so we will just say measuring straight line distance using our protractor we're gonna measure from Mount Greylock to this hilltop right here which is at about seventeen hundred and two feet so we want if we plotted a grid right to where that X is and again, like I said in the other video, this .5 millimeter pencil is key when it comes to plotting grids. Because if you go ahead and put a big mark on there, you could be off a hundred, couple hundred meters just by the tip of a pencil. So I prefer this one. All right, and right from our X, or right from the corner of this circle here at Mount Greylock, we want to measure how far that is of a distance straight line. So I got it zoomed in here, hopefully you guys are able to see this <coughs> Excuse me, on the protractor. It's the 1 in 25,000 square, yeah, 1 in 25,000 scale. As you can see from the zero, uh, I can't see it there. From the zero in the right corner it measures out at a thousand meters so each grid square is a thousand meters <clears throat> on a military map so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it backwards here actually let me just draw a straight line first so I keep it straight and you just want to mark that lightly so you can erase it so I'm just gonna draw that just so I can keep it straight and we'll start from the little hilltop, seeing how measuring device goes from right to left. So right along that straight line, hopefully you guys can see these numbers here. From zero, from our X on that little hilltop, all the way over to here, is 1,000 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that along that line I drew. And then just shift my protractor over, put the zero on that mark. right there to the edge of that circle like we're talking about I don't know if you guys can see that or not so it's it's on the five so that's 500 meters so we want a thousand and then 500 so from that X on this hilltop to the side of Mount Greylock the circle here is 1500 meters that's one way of measuring straight line distance is with your protractor. Another way to do that, you take a piece of paper, and I've ripped this out of my right in the rain notebook. Get it set up in that straight line, and I'm just going to mark the edge of my hilltop here to our X hair on this hilltop. Then we're going to take that and we're going to go to our bar scale at the bottom of the map. And I'm going to have to unfold it just so you guys can see that. So hang tight. 